Hello again, and we're going to talk about the sad passing away of Rick Mao. It was Monday, sadly passed away. Well, basically, he was the first comedian with Adrian Edmondson and all that lot. Who I really grew up with. I mean, I start, the first time I saw him on um, TV was The Young Ones. I was only about eight years old when I started watching that. Only say only made two series of that. But I tell you what, both series brilliant. Really, really were great comedies. Um and Bottom Come Along, the New Statement Statesman, that was I think it was before that actually, but you know, the majority of what Rick Mao's done is being funny. Really had me in stitches with laughter brilliant because it was unique comedy it was alternative comedy that's what I liked about it It was alternative comedy not to be taken seriously like um, a lot of comedies it's like a sitcom take a big, but you know this was different I mean majority of their like um, A. Edmondson's and um, Rick Mao's comedy was alternative comedy Got and also the comic strip presents that was on Channel 4, that was on about the same time as um, The Young Ones, back, back in the early 80s that started. Uh, that wasn't as good, but it was okay, still got the alternative comedy there. It was great, it was, you know, I would, I would much rather see something like that come back on our TV sets. But, you know, I'm going to say it before, I've said it loads of times before, that the BBC won't do nothing like that no more. Oh, we live in a politi pu publicity, polit no, I can't bloody say it. A PC world now, politically correctness world now. That you can't say this, you can't say that. No, with the, with their comedies like the young ones, bottom things like that. They didn't care about all that, and I, I just think that's um, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It was about having a laugh. It wasn't meant to be hard. It's not. wasn't supposed to be offensive. It was just having a laugh. It was a comedy, and people take things too seriously nowadays. That's the, that's the problem. People shouldn't take things too seriously. Bloody hell! World's depressing enough. Do you want to be serious for the rest of your life? There is times you've got to be serious. Yes, but when it comes to comedy. No, this is it's about laughter. About laughter, and, that, and that's the great thing about um, Rick Mao, A. Edmondson, all the all the gang. They just made you laugh. Well, majority of people like me would. They made laugh. I'm thinking the snobby cunts forget. Uh, they just they they're the ones that moan and oh we don't want that on the TV. Oh no, we can't have that on the TV. Well, I'm sorry. But you're not the only ones to pay your own pay the TV license. Everyone pays the TV license, so everyone should have a right to have what they want, not just like snobby bastards. Oh, we can't have that. Oh, we find that offensive. Tough. Get over it. Grow a pair of fucking bollocks. Fucking hell! I really, it really annoys me. I mean, you've got a great, great comedy, great writers. And then that now they start putting rubbish like the office. Oh my god! Glad they don't make that no more. That was crap. And you get all this other shit they try to churn, churn, churn on. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I've had a few drinks now, so I really want to try and not drink so much because I want to stay up to at least try and get the world. Try and watch the England match tonight. <laughs> I know, I'll probably be a little bit half cut, but I know I'm trying. But, yeah, but what I'm saying, we lost uh, a good comedian in Rick Mao. Great writer, made good comedy. I just, lo I just love the young ones, it was brilliant. It's just, it was just the banter between Rick Mao, Aidy Edmondson, their characters, Vivian and Rick. Vivian, you bastard! You bastard, Rick! Neil, weren't it Neil? We made me laugh. No. Um, 
peace, man. Oh no, everything's no, yeah. everything's a complete drag. No. Oh, I love that university challenge one. That was brilliant. That was. What was the what? What was it? The Virgin. Ah, oh, the set. Look, you couldn't get away with this set. I remember one of the episodes of the young ones. I was. I think I was only about eight years old. I saw so many of the real ones. I used to used to videotape them back in the day. So I had them all on videotape. Um, the one that I I, I, I could laugh at it today. Um, the 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 episode. I think it was called interesting when I had that party. Um, I just remember the Rick. Rick, um, it was all these girls sitting next to these two girls, um, and Rick went like looking for a cigarette and went down one of the birds' um, handbags. <laughs> what my, I didn't know at the time, but you know, I was eight years old. I didn't know what they were, but you know, when you grow up, you know, and it makes it even more funnier um, when he. Um, it's out a, a tampon. <laughs> it's a telescope! It's a telescope with a mouse in it! <laughs> daddy, daddy, daddy. Absolutely funny. Brilliant. You could not get away with that nowadays, but the way it was done, he didn't have, well, to, he, at the time he didn't have, supposed to have a clue what it was, but it was the way he done it. That was absolutely funny, and you know you can't beat comedy like that nowadays. You, you ain't gonna get it. That's a shame, but you can't beat it. Nothing's gonna beat that. Okay, Only Fools and Horses was my favourite sitcom, but you know it was it was a serious sort of sitcom, but it was a great comedy. I, I'm not gonna take nothing away from Only Fools and Horses because it, it was a totally different type of comedy. So you can't compare. The two comedies because it was a young ones was an alternative comedy so was bottom so you can't it's not fair to compare but they were both great always i've got the dvds it's always a joy to watch i will never ever get bored watching the young ones bottom um what is it um new statesman that was a good comedy um feel very rich in cat flat they only made one series of that but that was all right um, I can't remember anything else. I think they were the the, the, t the ones that you remember. Um, the comic strip presents. I mean, some of the um, episodes were all right, but there was always different. So, oh, there's a jet plane flying over. I think we've got an air show going on up Big and Hill this weekend. Anyway, um, should be talking about that. <laughs> Just got distracted by the jet. Um, yeah, it is a real shame about Rick Mao though. Really, is a real shame because he was one person, one person that always made me laugh. With with um, Aid Edmondson, even on his own, you know, when he done the New Statesman, had me in stitches. You know, the guy could make you laugh, and you know. Our great days, you know, they're still great days because I can still watch them and watch them and watch them. And, you know, it's just, I'm going to say it again, it's a real shame. Anyway, enough of the subject now as we're going to end the video. All I can say, come on, England, don't disappoint us. And enjoy the World Cup. I'll be back, probably no more today. Um, take care. Leave a comment if you want. Till next time, goodbye.